We've made it, Cyclones fans. It's first face-off eve. Everett Fitzhugh back with you for Cyclones TV. The Cyclones moved back into U.S. Bank Arena yesterday and took the ice once more this morning for practice. With a little over 24 hours to go until game time, the Cyclones have one final time to get the game plan nailed down and those details ironed out heading into tomorrow night's showdown with Kalamazoo. Yeah, like, well, we've just been working on a little bit more uh, getting the puck uh, moving, you know what I mean? Kind of got our systems hammered in already, so now we're trying to get some feel for it, get some chemistry going with our lines, our deep pairs, get the feel of the goalies, let everybody get comfortable in this arena and get uh, jacked up for tomorrow night. It's always hard in camp, and we wanted to go into this year with extremely uh, tough decisions to make because that just means our team's getting better, and we had some really tough ones, so I'm happy about that. But uh, I think our team's sitting in a pretty good spot. You know, we got a lot of... Uh, leadership on this team we got some older guys we got a, a good mixture of young youthful legs and guys that uh, you know are excited to be uh, playing pro hockey for the first time but it's uh, it's a good mixture right now and the guys are really excited and I think that we're sitting in uh, you know from right now we're sitting in a good spot now we'll see tomorrow night when things get going but uh, I'm happy with where we're gonna be progressing yeah I mean we're just we're just gonna work hard I think that's the main focus right now uh, just you know just uh, it's gonna be the first game so there's gonna be some uh, bumps on the road on the way but uh we're just gonna look to to play hard and see what happens today's practice was unlike any other for the cyclones as they announced their leadership group captaining this season squad will be defenseman eric canodal joined by forwards sean o'donnell and justin vive yeah i mean it's a huge honor um you know, i'm gonna do my best to uh lead the team and you know try to try to get this team on the winning path right away um, you know hot starts gonna be crucial for us um, makes life a lot easier but uh, it's definitely an honor to, uh, to be voted for it so it's, it's I'm looking forward to it yeah, it'll definitely be a, a threesome for us uh, working hard leading this team I mean those two have you know they have the track record they've played so many games up in the AHL and um, they put their time in and they like, they're gonna be a huge help and um, it's going to be a three of us trying to lead this team. Um, I mean, obviously, it's an honor anywhere you go. Um, like, any time your team kind of comes together and uh, decides on somebody to, you know, figuratively lead the, lead the team, uh, it's definitely a, a cool experience and just uh, going to, you know, give it everything I can. Uh, I would say the biggest thing from when I was young is just consistency in this league. I mean, there's so many games, the travel, you know, there's it's a grind. And, uh, you know, just kind of going out there and leading by example, uh, you know, going out every shift given they're all I think guys kind of see that and they start to pick up on that and it kind of is contagious throughout the team uh, we're going to look to them to uh, you know point us in the right direction but I think uh, most of the guys here kind of know been around like Schultze Zombo uh, a couple other guys Walsh they they know the drill so uh, we're going to look to them to uh, put us in the right direction but we need uh, everyone everyone on board no I like our leadership group you know we got a lot of experience there with all three guys uh you know, Eric Noel being our captain, that's something we wanted. I wanted to change this year and have a, a, a good, solid captain here, somebody that we can lean on. And, and, the, and uh, you know, in my opinion, all three guys could be a captain system. But, you know, they're, they're a good leadership group right there. And it's not just those three either. We're fortunate. We got, uh, I think it could have been any any one of a few different guys. We got, you know, some other great great uh, older guys in there with some leadership abilities I've done in the past. And, you know, we have a good uh, core of seven or eight guys. Uh, but those three stood out, and those three are taking, the, you know, the team by the – bull by the horns uh, for lack of better words for this team and um, you know it's exciting to have the have those guys part of this and, and make sure that they're pushing in the right direction.